and welcome to our Tuesday morning Mind the Moment gathering brought to you by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare and Tufts Health Plan. As you all know, this is a place where we invite experienced mindfulness instructors to speak with us about what mindfulness means to them and then to discuss as a community how we can incorporate these practices into our daily lives. I'm Suzanne Rowe Palacino, and I am delighted to be here with Mary Star Green, mindfulness instructor and yoga teacher, as well as longtime meditator. Good morning, Mary. Are you there? Oh, well, she's still uh, coming on. So, a uh, Mary, I see your. Um, I don't see your name anymore, but I don't see you. So we'll kick it off here. Um, so today we'll start off with a question for the group, and then lead in a, a guided meditation practice. Share some. Um, we'll share some thoughts with you about a particular theme, and then after that we'll have time for questions. So if you could go down and open up your chat, the bottom of the screen. And um, as we begin, you can check on, check on the blue drop down menu, and that will give you an opportunity to click from every uh, from hosts and panelists to everyone. And then you'll be able to see all of the comments coming in. We've got lots of good mornings happening here. So it's so nice to have everyone here. And uh, so, and I wanted to remind everyone as well that we um, have added a Wednesday morning practice. So uh, I know many of you have joined, so it's been really kind of a, a great experience. This is a little bit different in the fact <clears throat> that we have a, a Zoom meeting rather than the webinar. So this webinar, we connect with one another through the chat, but the Zoom meeting, we can see one another on the screen and it is screen optional. So um, people have either had their camera on or off. So it's an opportunity to see one another, which is um, a great thing. Um, so that is available for us all on Wednesdays. So I know Mary is still joining us, um, but in the meantime, we, um, she and I spoke about her question this morning. So I'll throw it out to the group and see where it lands. So <clears throat> as you think about this morning and um, what is how you're feeling this morning, maybe just sit for just a few seconds and see how you're feeling. And a second question on that. How do you know how you're feeling? I just thought this was a wonderful, wonderful question. Um, how do you know how you're feeling? So just type into the chat. Uh, Mary, I just shared your question, so we're all good. Um, so I asked the question and you maybe you can reiterate your thoughts on that, but we, um, how I mentioned to the folks, how are they feeling and how do you know how are you feeling? Exactly. Um, Thank you. And I apologize yeah. for no. technical. <laughs> hey, it all happens. <laughs> um, so Loretta's mentioned, glad to be alive. You know, it, isn't that interesting, this crazy time that we've been in? But it does make us think about these things that are like the basic things in life. So sure, sure. Michelle's mentioned, sometimes there's a knot in my stomach. Hmm. Yeah. Do they feel in gratitude? Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I find for myself, <clears throat> asking that question to myself and to others, yeah, you know, we, we see the full range of things. And sometimes we speak to feelings that we can locate in the body. Um, sometimes it's in energy levels I'm seeing here or a mm -hmm. sense of uh, what we might call more emotional um, tone to it. So thank you for everybody. We're getting the whole spectrum. Mm -hmm. Loretta's mentioned she just got done walking 10 laps and I'm happy I have the power to do it. I had cancer four years ago mm -hmm. and I'm grateful. We're grateful too, Loretta. Gosh, that's a that's a road to to walk. <clears throat> Feeling tired and low. 
Mm. A little rushed, grumpy after arguing. Mm-hmm. Getting too much into the day. Eyes are tired. Numb, low energy. Just woke up. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I um, when I think of the how do I know how I feel, I very much, and I know we're talking about embodiment, but I, my body tells. Sometimes I have such a connect- connection to my body. Mary and I were talking about how sometimes if, we, if I don't stretch in the morning. I feel it the entire day. Um, and I didn't stretch this morning. Um, I know I will at some point, but I just have to get the cricks out. <laughs> <laughs> more and more. It's important. More and more. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. Yes. I just want to acknowledge, I know how I'm feeling because inside I seem to have a conversation with myself. I love how that is. Um, yeah Mm. thank you i i um Mm. am uh lately of late just really fascinated with with the um phrase of embodied presence because everything that we do um you know of course is through the the filter of our for our, our body the word mindfulness you know seems to connotate or we call it brain training that is meditation there's you know, there's a tend to separate, or at least I think of it that way, but it's all related, you know, and so I think how I'm feeling about all of this now is that um, how we're feeling, you know, to be inclusive of our body, as some of us have pointed out, inclusive of the body, um, thoughts and feelings, it is all part of this lovely matrix of being human you know, our, our five senses and, and then our emotional and, and thinking, it's just so um, wired in, interwired. I'm doing this because there's a lot within the nervous system, but deep within our tissues um, is our intelligence of the body. So, yeah. so I thought what we would do is just a little bit of meditation. Um, and just as the preview of it, because there will be some silence in it, but to just as we're sitting to um, relax into whatever you're feeling, you know, to make room for it. Um, just like with all of this, it's we're not trying to feel a certain way or create a certain state, but in this body mind today this this human form to just bring an awareness of all of that and celebrate it maybe i don't know good so shall we get started absolutely sounds perfect great so you can start already with an embodiment as we just bring awareness to the posture that you're in and you can be sitting or lying down or standing but to find a way of being that's both upright alert and relaxed let's say alert and relaxed so already dropping into this posture of the body embodying this moment Perhaps even asking the question, what am, what am I aware of now? What am I sensing now? And just seeing what comes up. It's a question we can continue to ask and relate to, and that is that is the practice of our life. So as we continue to sit, what may be foremost in your attention in your sensing it has to do with your five senses right touch smell hearing taste um seeing it could have more of an energy tone 
film that's within the more of the head, the thinking. Sensing something that's more emotional. And these are just these are words, but how do we know? So just relaxing into how you know. Because you do know the body is wise. Sitting and embodying presence, which may be pleasant, which may be unpleasant, and which may just be there. We we'll just continue, continuing to be with what is in the moment.
sitting in this moment, continuing, continuing with the practice. Within this body, mind, breath, not separate. Continuing to show curiosity to the moment, to the feeling of the moment. Continue to make room. In this final minute or so of our practice together, I invite you to bring in, perhaps it's already there, kind of infusing the moment, but bring in just a sense of appreciation, gratitude for this entire body, body, mind, breath, this way of knowing that we are here this physical body that has been with us since day one that is ever-changing, that is trying its best, it may have been through hardship, may be going through hardship, but is wired to heal, wired to find balance. as we prepare to end this formal practice of meditation, maybe a deeper breath or bringing movement into the body, fingers and the toes. And if your eyes have been closed, just take that kind of gentle transition of opening the eyes and reconnecting with the three-dimensional space around you and with this lovely community that we have in front of us. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Mary. Yeah, um, it's it's a um, 
I guess what I'll say about the, this particular practice, which I am really bringing in more and more, is just to acknowledge that, you know, I um, am not dealing with any chronic pain or, or any kind of physical thing. And yet I'm also aware it could be otherwise and that that changes and that, you know, some of us that are here have spoken to the, the ebb and flow of, of what we call, you know, this just journey of health and well-being. Um, and um, so th there's that combined with, you know, it could be otherwise, it could be this, and also just every day, just an appreciation for for the abilities that, that, that I have and that we have to sense the world um, through our body, which of course does, when I'm saying this, it does include the emotions and the thoughts, and that it doesn't have to be great. It just is, <laughs> is what it is, and showing up for that is the journey. Yeah, such a good point. I mean, I just even love how you said that. It doesn't have to be great. <laughs> well, it ain't always great. Yeah, right. It ain't always great. Right. And so then the the layering on of that, which, you know, is just part of the practice is, all right, so can I make room for what I, how it is right now? You know, can I make room for that? And honestly, sometimes it's like, I don't want to make room for it. You know, I want it to go away or I want it to be different. And it's like, all right, well, so can you make room for it? That's how you're feeling about it. You know, so it's really not trying to do anything artificial. It really is just, it's that practice of continuing what is so right now, what is so right now, acknowledging it and, you know, moving through that, whether it's the patterns of thought more physically embedded, you know, within the body sensations or just emotions that have taken hold. And the whole spectrum of them, right, could be extremely awesome. But just knowing that with it's that there's a, a flux and we continue to move in and be flexible with that, speaking of flexibility and moving the body. Mm. Yeah, that's what's I I really am grateful for this practice, Mary, because um, I feel like our body, our mind might take us different places, but our body, sometimes, sometimes our thoughts come in and they're not really real, but our body is real every day. And we can, oh, we always can come back to that and know that it's not like, it's not always great. Like you said, um, <clears throat> but it's always real. It is always real. I don't remember who said it. There, there was a, a teacher and who said, you know, I, I can't have last week's toothache or I can't have next week's, you know, whatever it is. The body is just imprinted with what's going on now. I mean, that said, you know, our body can certainly store things. You know, that's part of its in beautiful intelligence too. But yes, we are absolutely filtering the present moment through all of the ways of knowing in our body right here and now. Yeah, it's a great barometer for presence. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, yeah. And um, someone was acknowledging the phrase, um, acknowledge what is right now. Um, it, it makes me think about someplace I read about when you were calling to mind the five senses as we were sitting that if you are connecting to one of those five senses, you cannot be doing something else. So if you're connecting to some sound, it's you can't really be doing something else. The, the brain doesn't process things that way. So if we are in our body in those five senses, that it allows us to just be in the present moment. Even for that brief amount of time, right? You know, even if it's just touching in these brief moments, it's like, there it is. And, you know, that's what I love about the practice, you know, because there it is again. <laughs> yeah. And, it away and then it all it comes back. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to share um, just on this feeling of um, connecting to our bodies and connecting to one another, too. We had just a wonderful community this morning. Um, this is the, the link for our session tomorrow. 
And this is the, um, just in, in transitioning from the wonderful work that Mary has um, shared with us this morning, I'm gonna be talking about interbeing tomorrow. Um, and that's a term that Thich Nhat Hanh, who's just recently passed, just a renowned meditation teacher brought into the world. Um, just because we had such a large community, uh, Mary, you, you bring the crowds. <laughs> oh my, wow. We, yeah, we had a- it's really, the plants, Suzanne. I think yeah. maybe it's just the greenery came in today. I don't know. I think it's a combo, but um, <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to, when we talk about the body and interbeing and, and his Thich Nhat Hanh's concept, that's what we'll be discussing tomorrow. And tomorrow is a, um, is a web, webinar format, I'm sorry, a, a Zoom meeting format. So that will be, where we can see one another and and come and have conversation and don't work you know if you want to put your your uh, camera on first thing mine will be on so um, but that concept of interbeing where we as humans plants animals how we influence one another and also how we can connect during this time where we're a little less connected so just a little conversation about that it's a little teaser <laughs> oh that's wonderful wonderful. So glad to have you here this morning, Mary. It was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So Well, I am grateful, grateful to be here with each and every one of you. And um, yeah, just, you know, have a, just have a day ahead, <laughs> you know, um, have a wonderful day ahead and perhaps just being within the body um, in a wonderful way. So yeah, sounds good. Well, thank you. For for your time and Mary and being with us. And thank you to everyone that's joined and hope to see you again. Have a good rest of your day.